the King County Wastewater Treatment Division's WTD Georgetown Wet Weather Treatment Station project is currently under construction in the heart of Georgetown in Seattle. Some of the footage in this video predate the COVID-19 pandemic. King County Wastewater Treatment Division and our construction contractors follow the guidance of Seattle King County Public Health. We are conducting many public meetings virtually and are available to answer questions about our projects over the phone or by email. Our offices are closed to the public and all facility tours are suspended until further notice. For questions about COVID-19, we encourage people to visit the Public Health Seattle and King County website, www.kingcounty.gov forward slash COVID and subscribe to the Public Health Insider blog, www.publichealthinsider.com. When constructed, the station will treat up to 70 million gallons of combined rain and wastewater a day that would otherwise have discharged directly to the Duwamish River without treatment during storm events. WTD began on-site work in April 2017 and expects to finish construction in 2022. As of August 2020, construction is approximately 60% complete. A lot has happened since we started construction and we want to show you how much progress has been made. Construction for the project is broken up into three elements, the treatment station, underground conveyance pipes, and the outfall structure. The treatment station is where most of the wastewater treatment process will take place. Several major milestones have been accomplished so far. As of July 2020, many of the buildings and structures have been erected and are approximately 85% complete. Another milestone in May 2020 passed when crews completed installation of the electrical conduits for inspection by Seattle City Light. This video walks through a virtual tour of the treatment station process and site as it is now. The process begins when untreated stormwater passes through the Brandon Street Regulator Station, which helps control treated and untreated stormwater flows in the sewer system. Untreated stormwater is then brought to a 1.1 million gallon reservoir, or equalization basin, through underground pipes. Metal screens in the basin remove debris from the stormwater, which is then pumped to the ballasted sedimentation building through six vertical turbine pumps. During the ballasted sedimentation process, sand, polymer, and coagulant are used to remove solids from the flow stream. The solids will be collected and pumped to the solids holding tank. Solids in the holding tank will be sent to the West Point treatment plant for processing. The remaining wastewater is then pumped to UV tanks, which treat the wastewater using ultraviolet lights to kill germs. After cleaning, underground pipes will carry treated flows from the station to the outfall structure where they will be released into the Duwamish River. In addition to the wastewater treatment structures, the station also contains facilities like the operations and maintenance building and generator building that are used by personnel to run the facility during wet weather events. The underground pipes are responsible for carrying untreated wastewater to the treatment plant and treated water away from it. The pipes at Georgetown are part of the larger King County Regional Sewer System that keeps pace with growth and continues meeting regulatory requirements. Much has been done on the underground pipes and we thank the neighbors and commuters for their patience while impactful road work was completed. Restoration is ongoing. King County works with SDOT and WashDOT throughout road work and restoration to support safe and efficient pedestrian access and commuting. The outfall structure is where treated wastewater will be discharged into the Duwamish River. Construction at the outfall site wrapped up in spring 2020, with restoration being completed. This consisted of some exciting work that included in-water welding, the removal of a sunken dock, and the setting and anchoring of the outfall pipe. The landscaping around the pipe was restored following this work. King County worked to include native vegetation in the landscaping plans. Restoration work includes six different species of native grasses, rushes, and sedges. These plants will help stabilize the shoreline and improve wildlife habitat. King County protects water quality and public health in the central Puget Sound region and prioritizes providing educational programming throughout the capital projects. The Nature Consortium and Seattle Public Schools partnered with King County in the spring of 2017 to connect students to infrastructure and the environment through art. King County has planned and constructed the Georgetown project to promote environmental and social sustainability. The treatment station includes a green roof, on-site stormwater capture with cisterns, and additional vegetation. 
The stored water will be used to water the station's plants and trees, which will improve air quality. King County has been committed to keeping the community involved every step of the way. Before the project began, the county convened a design advisory board and commissioned public art installations. The banners that surround the construction fencing were made by Maple Elementary students. The public artwork that will be installed highlights the importance of rain in our environment and its relationship to the treatment station. When complete, the monument will respond to a real rain event and serve as a memory of that event. During construction, the county has continued to work directly with the community, so construction information is shared and neighbors know what to expect. We attend community group and council meetings to share updates and to hear any concerns, offer project briefings, and send regular email and newsletter updates and ongoing social media posting. This project further invests in cleaning up the Duwamish River, restoring habitat, and improving the environment for South Park, Georgetown, and the region to enjoy. Thanks for joining us on this virtual tour. Be sure to visit our website where we will continue to update you on the wet weather treatment station's progress.